When we asked people last year what their dream Manchester would be like, there were some amazing, hopeful and ambitious replies. We just wanted a city-wide 10-year strategy that everyone could get behind, but typically Manchester had bigger ideas. Residents. Businesses. Public services. And voluntary groups. They all wanted more. The consultation on this strategy reached tens of thousands of people, so we think it gives the clearest ever picture of what kind of city Manchester wants to be. A thriving city creating great jobs and healthy businesses. A fair city with equal chances for all to unlock their potential. A great place to live with loads to do. A city that's buzzing with connections from world-class transport to brilliant broadband. This strategy, titled Our Manchester, fleshed out these ambitions into 64 priorities that Manchester's people and organisations have agreed. Now that we have the Our Manchester strategy and its 64 actions, we need to work out how, together, we can make it happen. It'll need some radically different approaches, because Our Manchester has to be for everyone especially where disadvantages like poor health or lack of opportunity stop people reaching their full potential. That's why our Manchester matters. That's why we've all got a part to play. Because no one person or organisation can do this alone. Everybody and every organisation that cares for Manchester has their part to play. So it's going to need radical change both to the way we all work and the way we work together. Manchester already has incredible strengths growing out of our industry, creativity, determination and innovation. Imagine us all coming together to get those strengths working. Imagine what we could do with our collective knowledge, skills and effort. Half a million 20,000 businesses. Thousands of NHS staff. 30,000 voluntary organisations, large and small. Our police, fire and emergency services. and 100,000 active volunteers. That's where our Manchester comes in. The Our Manchester approach puts people at the centre of everything we do, so people need to shape the way we do things, not processes. Across the city, organisations and individuals who care about Manchester are joining this conversation about what this approach means for them. We're asking ourselves and each other how we can use the four basic principles of our Manchester to change what we do and how we do it, so we play our part in making our Manchester happen. Those four our Manchester basics are Listening, we're listening, learn and respond. Recognising strengths of individuals and communities, we start from strengths. And working together we build relationships and create conversations and they're not conversations we've had before. They give a say and a role to those who need services, not just those who provide them. Organisations, businesses and voluntary groups who work and care about Manchester are now asking themselves how putting this our Manchester approach into action would change the work they do, both day to day and longer term. The wider public are being asked too, what can we as residents do to make where we live better? How could Manchester's public services support us to do more in new ways? How can we build on what's already great about our neighbourhood to make life better for us, our family, neighbours or community? And how do we make it more like the R Manchester that we all need to pull together for and work towards? <laughs> <laughs>